Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through inequality questions set in YEC SSCE and YEC GCE. I recently released a video on everything you need to know about inequality. The first question says uh, 3m plus 3 is greater than 9. Collecting like terms, 3m is simply greater than 9 minus 3. 3m is greater than 6. Dividing both sides by 3, here by 3 and here by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Therefore, m is greater than 2. So this is the solution to this first question. m greater than 2. If this is the case, collecting like terms will be left with 3s minus 5s is greater than or equals 8 because as minus 8 crosses the equality sign it becomes plus 8 and as 5s crosses the inequality sign it becomes minus 5s having this 3s minus 5s is minus 2s this is greater than or equals 8 now to get s we divide both sides by minus 2. Now notice, we are dividing by a negative number. And in inequality, when you divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, the sign changes. So this changes from greater than or equal to to lesser than or equal to. And minus 2 divided minus 2 is 1. So we are, we are left with s here. And 8 divided by minus 2 will simply be minus 4. This is the solution to the second question. Let's look at the third question. Given this, first, let's open up the bracket. 1 over 3 times 2s will simply give us 2 over 3s minus 1 over 3 times minus 1 will simply give minus 1 over 3. So this is lesser than 5. What do we do? We collect like terms. Leaving 2 over 3s to be lesser than 5 plus 1 over 3. Because as this negative guy crosses the inequality sign, it becomes positive. This becomes 2 over 3s is lesser than 15 plus 1 over 3. Because the LCM of uh, 5 and 1 over 3 is 3. So 3 divided by 1 is 3 times 3 is 15 plus 1. This becomes 2 over 3s is lesser than 16 over 3. Now in this case, we can take this 2 over 3 to this other side. We can do something like this. S is lesser than 16 over 3. 3 times 3 over 2. Or you can say let's divide both sides by 2 over 3. Dividing both sides by 2 over 3, s is equals 2 over 3 divided by 2 over 3 is s. 16 over 3 divided by 2 over 3 is the same thing as 16 over 3 times 3 over 2. So this goes into this, this goes into this. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. Therefore, S is lesser than 8. That is the solution to that inequality. The first question says, if S is positive, for what value of S is 4 plus 3S lesser than 10? So what value is this guy lesser than 10? Like we've always been doing, we simply come here and say, 3s is lesser than 10 minus 4, collecting like terms. 3s is lesser than 6. Dividing both sides by 3, s is lesser than 2. Now look at something. It says if s is positive, because Minus 5 
is lesser than 2, right? Minus 10 is lesser than 2. So it said if s is positive, if s is positive, it means that s is greater than 0. Or greater than, uh, yeah. And s is lesser than 2. So therefore, 0, if s is greater than 0, it means 0 is lesser than s, right? And s is lesser than 2. It therefore implies that s 0 is lesser than s and s is lesser than 2. So this is the solution, so long s is positive. Form an inequality for a distance d meters, which is more than 18. So that means the distance d is more than 18, d greater than 18. But not more than 23 meters. Now look at it. It says d is greater than 18 meters, but d is not more than 23 meters. What does it mean? If I say not more, if I say lesser than 23 meters, it means it is not up to 23 meters, right? If I say greater than 23 meters, it means it is more than 23 meters, right? But the question says not more than this from this question it shows that it can be up to 23 meter but it shouldn't be more than what does that mean it means that d is lesser than or equal to 23 meters this is the answer now let's combine inequality like i taught you in my video combining these two we come and say If D is greater than 18, it means 18 is lesser than D, right? So we can come and say 18 lesser than D and D is lesser than or equals 23. So this is the combined answer. Check that out. So let's solve this uh, final question. This question seems long, but it's the same procedure. First of all, let us open up the brackets. Here is 1 over 2 times 4s is simply 1 times 4s is 4s. 4s over 2 plus 1 over 2 times 2, which is 2 over 2. That's how you open up brackets. You divide everything inside by what's outside. Minus so, in to open up this bracket, we multiply the bracket also by a negative sign because minus is the same thing as minus 1. Take note of that so that I don't get wrong answers. Minus 1 times s is minus s. Minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5. This is lesser than or equals 1 over 4 times 3s is 3s over 4. 1 over 4 times minus 1 is minus 1 over 4. So we've opened up the brackets. Let's try to simplify our answer. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So here we are left with 2s plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 minus s plus 5 is lesser than or equals 3s over 4 minus 1 over 4. Now, Depending on how advanced your knowledge of mathematics is, I may want to say, let us multiply through by 4. Or, let's look for the LCM here, simplify and cross multiply. So, anyone you are okay with, at this point, you can follow any method you like. So, let me simplify. So, from here, I can say 2s minus s is 1s or s. So, here is s plus Plus 1 plus 5 is 1 plus 5, 6. So 6 is lesser than or equals 3s minus 1 over 4. LCM is 4, so we pick 1 and match the 2. Having this, you can choose to cross multiply at this point to have 4 times s plus 6 is lesser than or equals 3s. Minus 1. 4 times s is 4s plus 
6 times 4 is 24. Now let's collect like terms. Collecting like terms, here we'll be left with 4s minus 3s is lesser than or equals minus 1 minus 24. 4s minus 3s is simply s and is lesser than or equals minus 25. So this is your final answer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Have a wonderful day.